Torian Hudson. All right, Mr. Hudson. This is People versus Torian Hudson, Council. Ryan, Ryan Murad, P three six six five on behalf of Mr. Torian Hudson. Wave reading, stand mute. Mr. Hudson's been advised of his constitutional rights. Thank you, Council. Court notes formal reading has been waived. Enters a not guilty plea on your client's behalf. I'll hear your argument as to bond. Your Honor, as to bond, I'd argue that Mr. Hudson is 22 years old. Um, he indicates he's a life resident here in the city of Detroit. And he has six children. Um, Your Honor, he indicates he just got accepted to be a high-low driver. Um, right now, he's not employed. Um, he indicates that he does take medication. He's in pain and he's not received medication. He indicates he suffers from sickle cell anemia and asthma. I understand the charges are extremely serious and faulted in the matter, Your Honor. I just ask the court to keep in mind uh, Mr. Hudson's uh, <coughs> lack of prior criminal history, lack of capious history that we're aware of, um, and the fact that, Judge, I believe the most he can post is $2,000. Um, I believe that's everything he's got. As you know, he's not really employed. Those are his savings. I'd ask the court to consider uh, bond not exceeding $2,000. All right, Mr. Hudson is accused of causing a scene inside a Detroit gas station, then getting into the vehicle of a person who attempted to reason with him after that and shooting her in the chest. Uh, identified by both the person who was shot and the gas station cashier, who both had a prolonged period to look at him um, while he caused those scenes. He then is alleged to have fled the scene before he was apprehended. I believe he is both a danger to all members of the community as well as a flight risk, his bond is set in the amount of $1 million cash. If he's able to make a bond of $1 million cash, he is not to purchase or possess any firearms or other dangerous weapons, and he is to have no contact or attempted contact with either of these complainants whatsoever under any circumstances. No verbal contact, no written contact, no contact through third parties or social media. Any attempted contact with either of those individuals will be considered a violation of the conditions of his bond. Thank you. Court date, ma'am. Next court date, January 5th, 8.30 a.m. in front of Judge Jefferson for probable cause conference. Preliminary examination set for January 10th, 8.45 a.m. also in front of Judge Jefferson. In the, Your Honor, the uh, redetermination. 12-28-2022, Judge Williams, thank you. Thank you, Judge.